Hello and welcome to the All Flyers. I don't know about you, but when I check into a hotel and my bags are taken from me, I feel anxious. Will I see them again? Same feeling when I check them in at an airport. Will my bags arrive at my destination to be reunited with me? Turbulence before takeoff as travelers across the world start to notice that summer travel this year comes with some baggage. And lots of it. Images like this in London's Heathrow Airport showing the piles upon piles of lost luggage. Has anyone seen my bag? So much so that today Delta <laughs> Airlines flew a plane from that. London to the U.S. with no passengers. Instead, packed with over a thousand pieces of stranded luggage. Prior to the COVID epidemic, experienced staff at hotels and airports could mostly be relied upon to handle bags with care. Then COVID hit. Airlines laid off staff as they reacted by cancelling flights. Years of staff experience dissipated. Now that things are mostly returning to normal, airlines are having to compete for staff in a world of tight labour conditions. In Australia, the UK, Canada and America, the unemployment rate is about 5%. Within that remaining 5%, one hopes that there are some suitable for work in the aviation world. I think the sudden increase in passenger numbers has caught airlines and airports underprepared. Those experienced staff that they had before all found jobs elsewhere. The consequences are played out on the TV news most nights. Baggage piled up at Heathrow Airport, for instance, and left behind can't be ignored. Heathrow isn't the only airport to experience scenes like that. A walkout at Brussels Airport led to flight cancellations and chaos. Here, in a Qantas video, we see what happens to baggage in a well-ordered world. bags are sorted, loaded without damage, flown to your destination where you can collect. When Dave Carroll flew United in the US, a fellow passenger alerted him to the baggage handlers throwing luggage onto the ground. It just so happened that his expensive Taylor guitar suffered this fate. Carroll was rebuffed when he complained so. Being a musician, he wrote about this experience and this went viral. I'm betting the PR department at United would have bought him several guitars to avoid this bad publicity. I flew United Airlines on my way to Nebraska. The plane departed Halifax, connecting in Chicago's old air. While on the ground, a passenger said from the seat behind me, My God, they're throwing guitars out there the band and i exchanged a look best described as terror at the action on the tarmac and knowing whose projectiles these would be so before i left chicago i alerted three employees who showed complete indifference towards me 
United breaks guitars When we landed in Nebraska I confirmed what I'd suspected Mike Taylor'd been the victim Of a vicious act of malice at old hair And so began a year-long saga Of past the buck, don't ask me And I'm sorry, sir, your claim can go nowhere People from New York to New Delhi, including kind Miss Earlwig, who says the final word from them is no. I've heard all your excuses, and I've chased your wild gooses, and this attitude of yours, I say, must go. United. United breaks guitars Well I won't say that I'll never fly with you again Cause maybe to save the world I probably would But that won't likely happen And if it did I wouldn't bring my luggage Cause you'd just go and break it Into a thousand pieces Just like you broke my heart When you United breaks guitars Yeah, United breaks guitars Yeah, United breaks guitars Some clever passengers have put Apple Air tags in their bags in the event their bags go missing. Using GPS, they have been able to tell staff at the missing luggage counter exactly where their bags were to be found, countering claims that an airline had the situation in hand. A viral search for her lost luggage, saying she found it herself, but not where her airline said it was. Trevor Alt is at Newark Airport with more about how all this unfolded. Good morning, Trevor. <laughs> Good morning, Robin. So last week, this woman flew home to Washington, D.C., but her bag didn't make the trip until the next day. And with a GPS tracker, she says she watched her own luggage going on trips to a shopping mall, even to McDonald's. But for several days, it wasn't going to her. This morning, United Airlines under fire after the viral tweet thread of a woman tracking down her own missing luggage. United said they'd have it delivered, and I trusted them. <laughs> And that was a mistake. Valerie Sabala says she waited days for her bag. And with an Apple AirTag, she tracked it to an apartment complex where she doesn't live. I could see my bag this whole time taking shopping trips and then returning back. So this isn't normal delivery behavior. 
So she went to the apartment building herself and says she found empty United Airlines bags near the dumpsters outside. When she pressed United Customer Service for answers, she says they claimed her bag was at the delivery center, even telling her to calm down. She says it was only after her tweets gained national attention that a courier contacted her and returned her bag. I really hope that United and the um, D.C. Police Department both uh, investigate thoroughly because... I got lucky, not everyone's gonna go viral on Twitter. It is true that most baggage handling is carried out by third parties employed by the airlines. Reputational damage demands that these third parties suffer financially, even to the point of losing contracts. So people, stay safe out there and may you never lose your bags. Thank you for watching. Liking and subscribing helps our channel and guarantees your bags will never be lost.